This is Axolotl Guy 7 and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of me and my friends' uh, Minecraft creative world. It's a small area that we've been building on the past few days. So I am just going to remove this since we don't need it. So there have been a lot of explosions in this area, so the world is a little messed up. But, um, and there are a lot of energy. So here's an AFK machine I designed because we don't actually need it, but it's just for fun. And it doesn't even work. Well, some, well, but after you go around one time, it doesn't even work. And over here is our ancient city loot chests. And this is the first ancient city we went to. We ended up finding the rarest smithing temple in the game. I find that quite funny. And now over here are just three blocks. And another right area. Now, I'll go show you a tour of the entrance. So I did slash set biome to change it into a jungle area because the savannah area didn't look that good around it. So, you come up here with the water next to you. You go underneath the two cherry trees. And then you enter this the front of this building, which has nothing inside of it, but on the outside looks like this. And now inside the chimney, we got some campfire stacked on top of hay bales to give them, to give the smoke different heights, and to also make the smoke just higher too. And this is what the roof looks like. Now, um, we didn't have like a specific way of doing this, so I'll just glide down through here, even though I'm in creative. Over here, my friend built the super smelter blast furnace. Just a normal super smelter. With blast furnaces. Now, over here is a small map of the area. Uh, this is where we are right now, I think. And I never actually noticed this before, so... No idea what he's building here. But this is a map. And then, come out here. I'll show you this in a bit. But next over here, he did a bit of building over in this area. We have the start of my block chart. And the, re the way I did this was by doing, uh, by summoning a mob with no AI. I think I need to summon that sheep back in. I don't even know what. I also don't know why this gap here is so big. And then over here is a charge creeper explosion. And then here is a dock we built. And you can actually go inside of it. It looks like this. We're still figuring out what to put inside. And then... There are some docks around it, boats, and then this is an island with this type of stuff. And then over here, uh, we just have like some fun playing around and stuff with some explosives. Like there, there. And now I guess I'll show you the nether hub, which is a, not that big, it's just a small thing. It's, this world has only been active a few days. We decorated the portal. This is what it looks like. So we'll hop through. And now this is our simple nether hub. It's still under construction. And here's our beacon. And now these other portals are from failed attempts to bring it to the nether roof. Oh, I did not even notice this. Spawn point. Spawn point. Ah, so, so now, now that we're back, uh, there's only one thing I really need left to show you, which is this massive cave with the minecart in it. And one thing to know is that our world has a uh, thing where we can do use minecarts as an airplane. So see, we can just fly around with them. I'll just put on it. 
and now uh, you can either go down from this area or up which would make more sense to go to the top or your other arrival point could be this uh, diving area right in front right outside the basement so we'll just uh, I'll go down from the other side though because it's so let's go so into the wall now over here is a the junction where you can go up or continue down so I'll continue down so I'll have the it like that so I press the button I press this button and I go down And then, we're still figuring out like how the railway should go. This our original one went up this way, and then continuing that. So we're siding, and now over here is the part of the cave that I've transformed so far. It's sort of like a little farming area slash shopping area. So, the one in the back is a cobblestone generator with an alarm in the ceiling. And uh, the design is made by Il Mango, I think. Uh, yeah, I know that. I have to use a chest minecart because of the uh, airplane minecart I don't really have. I don't know what it is, though, so I can't tell you what. And then over here is an emergency exit. So, if you press it, the alarm... We have two bells down here, and they will continue ringing until someone goes upstairs and turns it off. Now we can come out of here and go over to the stone area. Uh, this stone farm is designed by Mysticat. XO. Looks like that. But the, t the stone will go there. Now over here is a grass converter where you like place your dirt down in here. It grows into grass. Or you could just have, like, someone buy the grass and pay you with dirt. And then... Over here is our most recent addition, the Oakwoods Farm. This one is was so big that it actually... I didn't realize it cut out here, but it did. So it's really big. And we have to do the same thing with a chest minecart. And I did this just so these cool walls don't get damaged. Here's a quick look. I really like the straight ball design I made, and especially with these uh, bars too. And I put a spore blossom down there just for fun, and the there's moss. And there's some stuff over here. And now we also have the rail, which continues down the track up onto the side of this building. And then we're still this. I'm still deciding where it should go next. I'm thinking around this wall, but I don't know. And then this is a walking cave, which I just added in the coral to, with glowberries and stuff like that. And then over here is where we're planning to add in a lava farm. So yeah, we've mined out some room, but not not put anything in yet. And then over here is the upcoming water farm, which I haven't, which we haven't even dug out the area for yet. And yeah, that is everything I have to show you today. So I'll show you again um, in a whenever I think it's a good when we've made enough progress to show you again. So. I hope you have a great day or night, and bye!